Now, we would like to direct some comments to our brothers and sisters in Russia in Russian. Привет, еретики! Howdy, heretics! This is my friend Olga, and she's an expert in Russian. I speak Russian, and so do Mark Sunderson, or does he? At least he spoke at the JW Broadcasting, and I always wonder what do Russian person think about this, because I wasn't I was a bit impressed, but it sounds weird, but I don't want to be overly critical <laughs> because I would literally just make an ass out of myself because I'm not, no one is perfect. So this is Olga and she will be the judge of our performance. And then we will look at Cedars. So who's best at Russian? Me, Sanderson or Cedars? So let's roll the first clip. Дорогие братья и сестры в России. У меня великая честь передать вам приветы от руководящего Совета. Мы рады послать вам выражение любви и ободрения. Нас не удивляет то, что вас сейчас переследует в России. Это признак того, что вы верно исполняете дело, которое вам поручил Иисус. В 1 Петра 3.14 Апостол Петр сказал, «Но даже если и пострадайте за праведность, вы счастливы, а того, чего боятся они, не бойтесь и не тревожьтесь». Конечно, мы, как руководящий совет, будем непрестанно делать все, что в наших силах, чтобы у вас был мир и спокойствие в вашем служении Югове. His Russian is very good, but it's some some uh, it sounds language weird. language for itself sounds weird and uh, quite old fashioned. Yeah, he uh, used uh, words we never used, like uh, I don't know, like uh, yeah. It, it sounds to me like someone has been using a thesaurus. Yeah, yeah someone yeah, in America yeah. has been using a thesaurus. Yeah. Uh, to write a very good speech, and that he's reading it because. I understand everything he's saying, Maybe but it sounds like, have you seen soldiers when they have this, they, they run on a, a on a path where they have to jump and climb and all these hoops and uh, it sounds like he's on this uh, obstacle course, <laughs> it sounds like he's running an obstacle course of uh, alphabet. Yeah, it's not uh, really easy for him. It feels like it's really hard for him. It's yeah. challenging for him. But uh, yeah, it feels like someone who wrote the speech, he was used to words using in the Bible and old books yeah. because the speech for itself and uh, words like quite old fashioned and the uh, way they uh, making sentences is quite old fashioned. Yeah. We're never speaking like this normal life, so maybe it's okay for people who really into this and who really uh, reading this every day. So maybe yeah. that's okay. I don't know. She, she, she just <laughs> discovered uh, theocratic language or Jehovah <laughs> Witness <laughs> lingo. Jehovah <laughs> Witnesses actually speak like that uh, in the literature. I, they use weird words. And if they're going to write a sentence, they will always find a thesaurus and find a weird word that's understandable, but uh, sounds different from normal language. So obviously when he speaks Russian, I never thought about that because I grew up with the Jehovah Witness lingua as my mother tongue, but it would actually be nothing wrong if he spoke normal Russian, but instead he spoke Jehovah Witness Russian. So I'm, I don't want to be overly critical and criticize him for not being Russian. He made an effort to speak Russian and that's very nice. Yeah, and yeah. we understand everything. It's just so weird. <laughs> yeah. And I listen to the grammar and the grammar sounds like perfect, almost like someone made it for him and put it on a, a teleprompter. And, uh, and also look at his body language now. He is staring into the teleprompter and he's kind of stiff and a little bit shaking. What do you think? Yeah, his and now, is shaking. Now he's speaking English. Yeah. And you can see it's Boli yeah, yeah. Yeah. So while he was speaking Russian, he was talking like this and American then his head starts wobbling and he's happy <laughs> and no longer shaking. So so I, I hate I sound like a critical person now, so uh, but 
what do you think? How would you describe to someone his uh, Russian skills? I think like for a uh, kind of American person, his skills is quite high. His skills is quite high. But, but uh, also, I never seen him uh, in a normal situation when they have a normal conversation in Russian. The only Russian conversation he has been on is this, when he uh, reading from a teleprompter. Since we made fun of him, <laughs> it's fair that we make fun of me too. So. Could I do better? No, I can't. Uh, I would read here. Nie boysia po tomuštu jasta boy. Nie ozirajsia po storanam. Po tomuštu ja tvoj bog. Ja ukrepljaju tibia, pa magu tibie. Budu krepku držat tibia pravoj rukoj pravidnosti. I love your Russian much more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I lived in Russia, he didn't, so... Uh, I like Russia, it's wonderful. Okay, so this guy is the most famous ex-Jehovah Witness YouTuber since Jesus. And he's an English-speaking native person, and he doesn't speak Russian. So he made a parody of this and also spoke Russian without uh, resources and teleprompter. So I thought we can maybe compare him and you can decide which one of them is better. Okay. Ivot moje poslanje vam dragi svjetitelje Jegove. Potamo što je pa vidimamo ti pjer to je gavario poruške. Rukava djašije savjete gavariat. Što anje djelojatsvo. Što v ih siluh. Što bi pomoć vam. No to što anje uže planirujut. Ni pomožet vaši situaciji. Miliona pisim pada juške v Kreml v snak protijesta protiv vašava plahove a vašinje tolika ohoždajet vašu situaciju. Ja znaju eta patumu što je takže stradaju nakazanjem pa religioznim mativem. Ja abnarožil što kakda ljudi ti cvicilna stremjaca što te zjelac. Čem gromče voj kričicije im Što boj ani astanobilis, tjem bolje je rišit sil nemje, ani daljni pradaljac eta djelac. So this guy, he does not speak Russian at all, you know, so it's like if I would pick up something on Chinese and read for the first time. But just compared to Sanderson, which one is best? I would say that uh, that guy is better. Yeah, better. the cult leader is better. Yeah. But, but for someone who never try and never practice, this is super good. Yeah, this is and the funny thing is I actually understood everything, yeah, almost too. everything me he said. So, too. John, if you're watching this, <laughs> how do you say congratulations in Russian? Pozdravlyayu! So, what do a normal Russian person like yourself know about Jehovah Witnesses and the uh, Zabret? Actually, for me, Jehovah Witness is like a normal part of the everyday life. So they existing like since I was a child, and for me, it's super strange to make them uh, like illegal. So we can, you can also have to make illegal every religion organization. Then, so they are not a terrorist. They didn't do anything wrong. They didn't kill people. They don't blow up yeah. everything. So they are not a, a, a terrorist at all. So I really can't understand this. this no, but. But uh, what they do have in the paragraph is that they have terrorist and extremism in the same paragraph. So no one said Yehovah Witnesses were uh, terrorist, they say they were extremism. So I they are two different words in the same paragraph. Mm -hmm. So uh, they don't blow up stuff, but... Blow up minds! <laughs> yeah, but like they use a they use, uh, lot of criminal things. Like I, I, if what if you're a higher if you're a woman working for Watchtower uh, on Bethel, so you you get paid because you get food and you know everything, and then you get pregnant, you will be fired. Oh, that's a crime. That's a crime. That's a crime. That's illegal. Did you hear that, Putin? You're right about <laughs> one thing. It's a crime to fire a woman because she gets pregnant, and then, like I said. Imagine if your Jeho your parents are Jehovah Witnesses, and you get fired from Watchtower because you're pregnant, and you say this is wrong, so you want to sue Watchtower. 
because maybe it's a, they get paid like kopeki every month but you say i want my kopeki for <laughs> six months you know yeah. and you take them to court then you will be automatically disfellowshipped that means your parents can never talk to you again wow. so you're a pregnant woman on the street you know and that's blackmail it's if you tell your employees so, yeah. that if you get f uh, pregnant we will put you on the street and if you complain we will remove your parents so the watchtower organization is a criminal organization according to swedish law russian law and a lot of legislation so wait a minute you mean like uh you think it's a good idea to make your witness illegal no watchtower watchtower is an illegal organization uh, uh, no, it's not. Well, in Russia, it is technically, literally a legal organization. But if an organization, let's say McDonald, would have a system that they abuse their power. So let's say that if you're a woman working at McDonald's and you get pregnant, you get fired. And if you complain about this, uh, we can control the food supply in this country and you will never ever get food from anyone. That would be... Uh, several crimes you know it would be blackmail it would be you know that would that doesn't mean you should make mcdonald's illegal that means you should punish mcdonald you know yeah. you should not make mcdonald illegal and you should not make it illegal to enjoy a burger <laughs> you know and that's what uh, russia done it they made it illegal to believe in this particular fairy tale I think Witness it's anti-constitutional because we have a free of believing actually in Russia. Yeah, but I, I should, they stu you, you're still allowed in Russia to, okay, I'm not an expert in Russian legislation, but um, you have the right to believe in the Jehovah Witness mythology. You're not allowed to preach it and you're not allowed to arrange meeting. During the Soviet, religion was illegal. Yeah, completely. And then it just came back yeah. after the Soviet. Yeah, because yeah. we needed a uh, Russian um, identity. I don't kind think of. so. I don't really think so. I think it's really nice for uh, making people calm. It's really nice for making people making people obey and to follow everything the government. Come saying. back to the picture. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 so it's like. Um, yeah, I think they just uh, have religion to control people because in Soviet Union they get their own religion, communism, yeah. and it was very strong and uh, like information was uh, uh, everything about this. But now they just the government is not so strong, so that's why they need religion just to yeah. make people. I have this them. feeling it's like Putin scratched their back and the the, the church scratched his back. Yeah, yeah, because Putin also claimed that. He was, uh, when he was a KGB, when he was a spy, a Russian KGB agent, he was baptized as an Orthodox, Russian Orthodox, in <laughs> secret, because the Orthodox were persecuted. I don't think he's telling the truth. Do you believe that story? <laughs> Do any Russians believe that story? <laughs> it, it's kind of like... Uh, it's super strange. It's like Donald Trump should go into a Christian prayer meeting and say he was a virgin. <laughs> 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 I think he's just saying what it needs to be said. Jehovah Witnesses claim that the Russian government are breaking into uh, the kingdom halls and that they are planting uh, literature, you know, because the literature is illegal. So uh, this is a surveillance video and Look, one is opening the door and one is climbing. <laughs> it looks like amateurs. I just think it's funny. Let's see. Early in the morning on September 20th, 2016, armed law enforcement officers in masks forced their way into religious building of Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that this demonstrates the intent of the authorities to ban the local religious organization of Jehovah's Witnesses, which has operated legally in the village of Nizlobnaya for 17 years. There have been no fewer than 60 incidents of planted and falsified evidence, and in most cases the worshippers could only throw up their hands helplessly. However, when the planting of evidence is recorded on video, incidents such as this one in Nizlobnaya reveal the sad truth. The evidence is planted by the very ones who should uphold law and order. It is on their conscience, it is their responsibility before God and man. 
I don't want to disappoint you, but this video is really looks like a real police work. Yeah? Yeah. That's how the Russian police yes, works? Yes, this is how the Russian police, like stupid, rude, non-official, non-effects, non okay. but uh, yeah, it works like this. And if you can see like uh, videos with opposition politics, you can always see something like this. They just go, cut off the door, put people on the ground and do everything they want. They even uh, can uh, get their numbers, they uh, hide their faces and they mm. have no orders, no papers and it were always like this. So yeah, it actually yeah. looks like a normal stuff. Put them in unmarked vans. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe Watchtower is uh, right about this piece of propaganda that w uh, w Russia is not behaving exactly like they should be so so if i would say that the watchtower organization is a criminal organization but the jehovah witnesses in russia best country in the world should be able to believe what they want it's like imagine if mcdonald's put their hamburgers on the floor that would be a crime and if they fire people for being pregnant that would also be a crime so you could say that McDonald would be a criminal organization, but you cannot put people in jail because they like hamburger. And that's what Russia is doing now. They are persecuting Jehovah Witnesses for things they believe, which they are allowed to do in a, a free democratic country. If we offended Mark Sanderson, John Cedars or Putin, sorry about that, but 